Scorpios. This is going to be your December monthly love reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. You guys, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for each and every one of you. I advise you to check your Moon and Rising signs as well as um, because they may, those readings may put together a full story for you. Um, if the reading still doesn't resonate with you, you guys are more than welcome to um, hit me up for a reading more specific for you. You can visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. And um, we can go from there, okay? Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio for December? Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio? Please show me. Scorpio. Scorpio. Past. Present future position of Scorpio. All right, Scorpios. We have the Three of Wands. The Eight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Six of Six of Swords, Strength. Let's see if we can move that up a little bit. The King of Cups. The Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, okay. So in the past, let me just point out the energy first because there's no Earth here currently, but we have Aries, we have Aquarius energy, Leo, Pisces, and of course you Scorpio okay let's see so where you're coming from in the past was putting something out there with a goal in mind like you had this this goal um, that you were striving towards that you were building upon and you know you you put your hard work in and now you were waiting to see, you know, what what would come out of the efforts that you put towards something. And I felt like waiting on your ships to come in, waiting for to see like the fruits of your labor, you know, it had you thinking about all kinds of things in your head, like, you know, if if you were doing the right thing, um, did you decide to invest in the right relationship? Did you decide to invest in the right job? You know, did you save the right things here? And I think like you had the, all of these things that, you know, were going through your head that had you kind of confused at one point that, um, but it, it, you know, you get to a point though here with the Ace of Swords where, you know, you have this realization. I don't know why that is turned over or why I pulled from the bottom of the deck, but we're going to go with it. The Ten of Wands here, you know, and so whatever it was that you were waiting on, I feel like just the weight itself was like a huge burden for you because you weren't sure you know, how it was going to pan out. And I feel like, you know, with the Ace of Cups being present, there there was there was something surrounding love that you had decided upon. Like, you know, because the two of wands was here first, having to decide a path. And I feel like, you know, at one point you were against like love, um, true love, I'm going to say, not that you haven't felt, you know, like you really cared about someone before, but I feel like, you know, this is, this is you running across somebody that you have an undeniable connection with. 
And I feel like it's almost the level of infatuation up here in the past with this person that you didn't feel like it was reciprocated. Like you felt that you loved them more than they loved you or, you know, you had more feelings for them than, you know, they had for you. And it was, it was really, really bothering you. Okay. But, you know, you move forward from that. And you're adjusting to it, I see, because you moved, you know, out of this state of, um, you know, really kind of overthinking things and moving forward and getting your emotions in check. Okay. Also, I see, you know, this water sign here, I feel like could be a cancer that you are also dealing with and that's a lot of water <laughs> between scorpio and cancer but um i feel like you were you were overly invested you were overly invested in um this connection with this person in the past and it was keeping you you know up in your head a whole lot thinking if that they felt the same way because you really saw yourself moving forward with this person like you're very giddy about it very happy about it but you soon realize that you know those emotions were probably a little you know obsessive and you just want to you wanted to start over again because i felt like you put yourself out there to somebody and it probably was too much for that person because they probably didn't feel right off what you felt. You know, because some people, some people, when you meet each other, one person may, you know, be just all into it and, and right off the bat, just kind of feeling all of these emotions. But it may take the other person time to get to the point that you are. And so I feel like it was kind of overwhelming. Um, for this person <clears throat> so now you know you got to a point where you realize that it was being a little <clears throat> my voice is kind of cracking up here <clears throat> hmm I feel you being very very emotional and hurt about um, you know something that happened here in the past where this person did not take you seriously or you know, may may not have reacted the way that you wanted them to react because you were really, really passionate about this individual. And I, I believe you felt like this person, you know, was your life mate, okay? But, you know, when somebody is not reciprocating in the way that you want them to, then you have to choose, you know, if, if that's going to be right for you, okay? Now, in the present moment, it's like you needed to pull back a little bit, okay? Because we have we have two Aries cards right here with the two of wands and the emperor, okay? You needed to really kind of pull back a little bit. Um, and that is what you're doing. Pulling back a little bit. You still feel this, this two of cups energy with this person. But I feel like you're more in control of your emotions right now and, and how you convey that to the other person, okay? I feel like, you know, they, either you or the person that you're dealing with has um, Aquarius energy in their chart, as well as Leo. Um, but, you know, you, you still love this person or you still have all of these feelings for this person. I kind of feel like this was almost like this love at first sight kind of thing for, um, for you and vice versa if this is the other person's um, energy. But <clears throat> I feel like, you know, you felt the other person pulling back after you put your emotions out there so freely um, and so passionately that, you know, now it's like you almost feel beat up. You, you feel like you have to be somebody like the emperor who you are truly not 
feel like you have to kind of pull back your emotions, which is not really what you want to do, but you know the behavior that you've exhibited in the past was not working for you, was not working to bring you guys closer together. So now you're kind of going forward a little bit and you're kind of coming out of that. Um, that state where you were very, very upset because this person was not reciprocating. But I feel like, you know, now either you or the other person is very, very um, defensive. I think that, you know, you still love this person. You still want to be with this person. You still see a future with this person. But it was so hurtful when you felt like, you know, it wasn't going to happen or this person wasn't reciprocating that now you know you're you almost are paranoid and um you can't let go of the fact that this person is not behaving in a way that you want them to they're not express more as expressive as you are you know as far as how you feel about the connection But you're holding on tightly, I see. You're holding on tightly to this person, and I feel like this person is holding back themselves from you. Okay. And they're, you know, you're, you're being very, very strong. And the, the more you, the more you kind of hold yourself in a reserve, and, you know, don't think about how this person has reacted to you before. Let your ego kind of subside. Um, and I think they'll let theirs. And I think, you know, with this will of fortune, it's going to bring something, um, something good your way. But, you know, just not pushing and, you know, just staying strong here with the strength card. We have Gemini energy here as well. Gemini Leo. Um, just staying strong and, you know, not pushing, allowing somebody else to completely feel what it is that they feel and, um, without trying to, you know, sway them or persuade them to, to, um, come, you know, and see your side of things because people have to see things for themselves in order to, you know, incorporate and, you know, believe in that. Okay, so, but I see you standing strong here and becoming the queen, the king of cups who is very in charge of his emotions. You know, he's very in control. He knows how much to put out there and when to pull back and when to keep to himself and meditate about things that bother him, you know, and not just overreact and, um, yeah, see the page of wands is, does not overreact. The page of wands is somebody that realizes, you know, what it is that they actually need to do in a situation. I see you doing that here in the future and being able to say what you need to say and handle your business here with the Knight of Swords, okay? I see you working together and making things happen with this person. With the magician being present with the three of coins, I see you guys, um, I see you being able to communicate in the way that you need to, to convey to this person, you know, what you see in them, making your future happen together. I see you doing that. And I see you coming out with the Ten of Cups right there, you know, just having compassionate love for each other, you know, establishing a foundation, um, you know, a familiar foundation with this person, quite possibly even starting a family here. Even if you guys, you know, already have your own, your children, I see blended families. I just see, you know, you guys having something solid here. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I see something solid here. Look at what we have, guys. We have the Ten of Cups being clarified by the World card with the cycle ending and a new one beginning. And guess what you get in the beginning of that cycle is the Empress. Okay, brand new, abundant beginning, new start, new start, something solid, stable here. Okay, 
So Scorpio, that is what I have for you for the month of December. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Okay. If you need a personal reading, you can um, check me out on pinkarianjim.com and we can go from there, guys.